Hello everyone, welcome to our last talk and finally we get to presentation from Google. I'm delighted to say hello to Kia Rajbakshuri. He is the reliability lead at Google and will tell us about flexible tech displays today, key emerging trends and reliability challenges. Kia Raj, over to you. Sure, thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. And uh, this is Karaj, part of Google Hardware. I'm happy to be part of this session. So I'll be discussing about the flexible displays and different uh, emerging trends, and also focusing on the reliability challenges for flexible displays. So um, let's dive in. So when uh, Apple introduced its um, first um, smartphone in 2007, it was based on LCD displays. And LCD displays, they're great, but they're a little key because of all these different layers. And also they're very rigid because all these layers, they're a part of a glass structure. And that means that you don't have much room for flexibility, but at the same time, uh, and also form factor, but at the same time, because of the thickness, you will have probably smaller battery size. Later on with uh, introducing glass OLED by Samsung, we will have uh, we we got a little bit uh, more room in terms of the design of the phone, so you will have a larger battery size in addition to the benefits from the OLED displays. However, there is still a challenge about this glass OLED because they are still uh, within the glass structure in a kind of encapsulation layer that you don't uh, have enough flexibility for different form factors. And recently, with addition or with introduction of plastic layers and plastic OLED, all these different layers of um, OLED displays, they're now part of a very thin, flexible displays. And this will al allow you to have all these curved edges like I'm showing here. And of course, foldable and flexible displays and also rollable, which is great in terms of the value proposition for uh, these different um, suppliers. Now, if you look at the screen to body ratio trend, it's very also interesting that it's map out to all these technology from LCD to glass OLED and plastic OLED, you see that you are going to have larger display size and higher screen to body ratio. And also, if you look at the worldwide uh, smartphone shipment, in terms of different size, you can see as uh, as a function of time, a lot of users are preferring larger displays. But that's a very interesting trend that these foldable, rollable, and flexible displays are very popular. However, there is this catch in terms of the reliability performance. These are not as the same performance as a glass um, OLED or LCD with a thick cover glass and a, and a good mechanical performance. So now I'm going to discuss about these different reliability aspects and challenges for foldable and rollable displays. So in general, I'm uh, categorizing these reliability for displays into three buckets, environmental testing, electrical, and mechanical testing. For environmental testing, you are having different temperature condition, thermal cycling, UV, low temperature. And I am highlighting the importance of some of these tests and the way that needs to be attention for uh, for flexible and foldable displays. And I'm giving uh, a couple of examples here. So in a normal flexible display testing for a, um, for an environmental test, you will have a static fold of a flex flexible displays in a different environmental chamber, and you see the delamination crack and that so on. However, I'm highlighting some of the hidden aspects, which is the residual stress after the environmental testing. So here, residual stress I'm capturing as a resting angle, and you can see that this angle as a function of time. For low temperature, you don't have much resting angle. That means that the residual stress is pretty low, and you don't have a, a, a bending performance challenge. However, with a heat, high temperature, thermal cycling, you will have a residual stress, which results in a resting angle difference that could manifest in a problem for bending performance. And that's again, one of the example of a critical attention for foldable and flexible displays. The other item would be, for example, in terms of the UV damage, when in a conventional LCD displays, you have a thick cover glass 